We have a special guest tonight. In fact, we have two special guests. Uh, starting right at the top of the show, you recognize this gentleman over here. If you're in the leather community, you absolutely know who this gentleman is. Uh, this is Jack Thompson. Yeah! Jack Thompson, welcome. Stop, stop, to welcome, stop Jack. Out. Uh, as you can see in our slide here, uh, Jack Thompson has just been crowned 2019's Mr. IML. Yeah. Congratulations. Woo! Oh, yeah. Really exciting. Not only is it historic, uh, it's historic because he is the first trans man of color to win Mr. IML. Congratulations yeah. to you, Jack. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, we're really thrilled to have you. Before we get into that, let us show you uh, during the competition in Chicago uh, over Memorial Day weekend, in the competition phase of doing a speech, we captured you, dude. As you were talking. Oh, no. America, <laughs> watch this. My whole life, I've been told that I am not enough. I'm not black enough, not queer enough, not smart enough, not strong enough. Hell, there are people in this room right now who don't think I'm enough of a man to be allowed on this stage. Most of us feel like we aren't enough for something or someone at some point in our lives. But when I was being trained as a sex educator, I learned to ask one of the most important questions that I will ever ask. For who? I'm not leather enough. For who? I'm not submissive enough. For who? I'm going to tell you something that it took me nearly 30 years to learn. If you're enough for you, then you are enough. Period. <laughs> in the mirror and actually knowing that you are enough. It is not easy. I do it every day. But when you finally see yourself as enough, no one can take that away from you. So when someone makes you feel like you aren't enough for them, ask yourself, am I enough for me? That's the only opinion that matters. I am Jack Thompson. I am a proud, biracial, transgender, HIV positive man. And I promise you, I am more than enough. Yeah, that was incredible. Oh my God. We yeah. told Jack today at our host meeting we were going to do him proud. And congratulations, production. I oh. think you just did our entire community proud. Yeah. And so did you, Jack Thompson. Yeah. I'm not a member of the trans community, and I'm not a member of the leather community. I'm a proud member of the gay community, and that was awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so Congratulations much. Congratulations to you. Yeah. That's actually the first time I've watched it all the way through at all. Like yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I don't like watching myself on screen half the time. I'm like, tell, oh, us, no. <laughs> tell us what that experience is like in terms of the challenge that you made to the gay community, especially to your leather brothers in that I am enough and basically screw you if you don't think I'm, I am. What, what was that moment like for you? I mean, that exact moment... Is is completely gone from my mind. I <laughs> I was I had listened to my speech. I recorded it. I listened to myself hearing it over and over again. And <clears throat> I just made sure that when I was up there, I was like, okay, did every word come out after every other word they were supposed to? Good, done, bye. Like I was I was so scared and and nervous that I was just glad that it came out. I didn't remember anything that happened during it, but I feel like it's. It's a cause that people can understand, no matter who you are or what your background is. Everyone has felt like they weren't enough for for a, a job or a partner or or something in their lives at some point. So it, it's a it's something that we can all relate to. Yes, and you I, were th I can't get enough of that speech. I want to hear it a, 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 again. I didn't yeah. get enough. That, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, amazing. I, I had wanted to ask you with that. You said. Uh, that this was something that you felt your whole life and not feeling enough, how we can all relate to that. And what we discussed before that uh, and what you discussed in your speech uh, goes into the idea of how you are now as a person and how you're going to move forward. 
that speech is, I think, the only one that got a standing ovation uh, from the crowd that day, correct? Yeah. Like, yes. That's not easy to do in a, in a group of leather. Is that true? No. Yeah, that's the only one that did. Uh, it's, it's you say not... that so modestly. Yeah, I got I, the only I didn't standing know. ovation. People had to tell me, because you can't see anything yeah. oh, nice. past that stage. Right. So I had no idea what, what was happening. I just walked off and was like, did I do okay? <laughs> like I was. America, <laughs> I have to tell you, one other reason you may not be aware why this is a big moment that Jack Thompson is sitting here at It's Happening Out. We think that we have to overcome our broad community, yes. politics, the straight community, whatever you're going to define it as. Uh, there was quite a controversy in Jack Thompson becoming the first yeah. trans uh, man of color, the winner of IML. In fact, I was reading, when I was reading about you, that one of the uh, preeminent individuals here in the southeastern United States coordinating leather clubs in the south made specific comments that somebody that was trans should not be a Mr. IML, and that's in our own community. Yes. How'd you feel about that when that happened? I mean, honestly, um, I found out about it sort of like 15th hand. Like, I hadn't even seen the actual post until it had already been taken down. Like, they'd already deleted it, and it was all just screen posts at that point, which... Um, the first trans man who had ever won, Tyler McCormick, when he won nine years ago, he had definitely gotten a lot more flack than I had, and I, so I was expecting it to be far worse. So by the time I had found out about the controversy, there was already a huge movement of people being like, this is not okay, we support this person, yeah. and the hashtag, like, Jack is my IML, had already started, oh, so nice. I had found out about it and been Very like, nice. uh... Okay, like I, my, and my first thought was, well, of course someone already said something, but also did anybody ask him or try to educate him on mm. why that wasn't an okay statement? Because I'm always, I'm always first and foremost like education, talk to somebody, see if we can find some common ground. Yep. And apparently they had, and he had doubled down. So I was like, okay, I don't care anymore. Yes. That's fine. To Whatever that happens, point, happens. To that <laughs> point of why this is so historic. Jack Thompson is here as a guest at It's Happening Out. Uh, first trans man of color to win this. Woo! He's here tonight on the show. And the chairman for the Southeastern United States, uh, who made this comment that you're not man enough to be Mr. IML, was asked to resign. And he is no longer involved in the leather community. Yep. So you're here tonight. And he He's is not. not. <laughs> I, I have a question for you. Did you, yeah. when this whole controversy took place and you actually saw it, did you actually, did you ever speak out publicly or say anything publicly? I did. I, I finally did say something. Um, this was all happening right, when, right immediately after IML. So I was a little dumbstruck in general. So I, I, I was taken back a bit. Um, and finally I was like, to be fair, again, I thought that the the aftermath of someone like me winning was going to be a far far worse of, a, of an outcome. And so, oh, thank you. Um, so, if I have to keep taking a few hits from people in the community um, that are either not educated or around these topics or are just ignorant around these topics and they don't think I belong here, to have all, the a world community of leather folks, kinky folks, gay folks, come together to say across the board this behavior is not okay and we will not tolerate it. I'll keep taking some hits. Yeah, yeah. I'll absolutely. keep taking them. Absolutely. I can take them yeah. more than some other folks can or have the ability to if it means that it, it brought our whole community together. Absolutely. And, that's, that's and, totally fine. and that is... Yeah. That is a good soundbite. That's a good soundbite to say that's exactly what we're going to do tonight. We're going to educate and have fun, and we're really happy that Jack Thompson is with us tonight. Here I'm happy to be here. Out. This has been awesome. All right.